with a Cy Coleman review. Have you thought about collaborating on something else? Yeah. And indeed we have. <laughs> what first brought us together was uh, talking about doing a, a chamber version of The Woman in White. And so we're working on that. I just want to keep doing different things. I want to do whatever's the most different. You know, I was talking to a buddy of mine who wants to talk, who wants to talk to me about doing Richard the Third, which is really different than anything I've been doing. So, you know, whatever, whatever's the most different from the last thing I've done. I like doing new work, and I like, um, so there's no established musical theater thing that I'm like, oh, I wish I could play that, but um, I, I just like working, and I like being creative, so I'm hoping that new things are written. This was a really, really easy show to write for. It was it was wonderful. It was because these songs are so much fun to write. What a fantastic brief to, to say just take any theme you want in the show and make it sound like it's come from a band in the early sixties and have fun with it. So I had great fun writing these stories, coming up with the jokes for the songs and writing funny lyrics and kind of catchy tunes for this for this. journey's been great and uh, you know this award season is uh, has been a, a lot, a lot to deal with, but you know, I wouldn't try to go into a, a, a dream role. I don't know if I ever always thought that I would um, be in The Exorcist, but to work with John Doyle and Richard Chamberlain and the rest of the cast, to me, I'm just, that's my dream that it's coming through. Brown is very different from who I am, so I, 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 I try not to judge him. He's just a man trying to survive like anybody else in Catfish Row. Um, and when I get off the stage, I leave them there. You know, the, the process was unique in the sense that it was written by 15 authors, um, so that was a different model than I'm used to working under. Um, there were wonderful things that came out of it, and also very challenging things uh, about just there's not a lot of infrastructure at theaters to develop new work that way, but CSC, was they really rallied behind us. Greenwich Village nightclubs, because I could sing, I auditioned for chorus jobs, and my first Broadway show was in a chorus, uh, where I wanted to be was a serious actor, but I could sing, so that got me in those doors. Right now I'm working on a great play down at the Barrow Street Theater called Tribes, which is a nominee tonight as well for Best Play, and so I'm just looking forward to the continued run in that, and uh, I'm missing my cast there this evening very much. And it's a very serious industry, you know, I mean all these nights seem, seem glamorous, but put your head down, work hard, respect your audiences, respect your own body, respect your producers, and keep your very good friends a challenge to, to inhabit someone who is not a lot like myself but I get to find a human side of her I think that was the big challenge and um, hopefully we met that challenge I'm thrilled that by the way Meet Mayor Stark is being recognized it was over a year ago now that we were at second stage so I'm glad that it, it stayed in, in people's heads and uh, you know it was my first straight play here in New York City. project on Broadway is actually Chaplin I'll be directing and chat I'll be directing choreographing Chaplin at the Barrymore Theatre uh, coming up look out opening night is September 10th what else are you working on um, coming up also is a Christmas story